Hi, I'm Gord Miller, Environmental Commissioner of Ontario, and I'm here today talking about a new report, Broadening Ontario's Climate Change Policy Agenda, which is basically a report uh, to the Ontario government about their success, or lack of same, in reducing greenhouse gases. Uh, there's a number of policy issues discussed. There are five basic policy areas. I want to talk about uh, one of them in this clip. And that, that relates to, uh, the, starts with the Ontario's goal to re get off coal by 2014, and so we have these large boilers uh, that bur burn coal now that, and Ontario Power Generation, that the, the public corporation charged them, is looking for options of what else can we burn in those boilers and to, to, to extend their life to their, to their full potential. And of course, biomass comes up. And biomass can be from agricultural products or a variety of things, or biomass can be from the forest, from the forest products, and Ontario has large expanses of forest and potentially large amounts of bio biomass that could be burned instead of coal in our what are large electrical generation plants in Nanticoke and Lambton up northern Ontario. So that's what they're exploring, that's the direction they want to go and basically I'm supportive of looking at biomass as an alternative, certainly a much better alternative than coal. But one of the things that they're talking about when they talk about the biomass and they hail it as a, a great advancement, but they say it is carbon neutral. Obviously, coal is a fossil fuel and puts a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And, but the, the concept of carbon neutrality with respect to wood is that, well, the trees, you, they grow, you cut them, uh, you make them into pellets and you burn them, and the, and the carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere, but then the trees are growing again, and they replace themselves, and they take the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. So in that sense, they're carbon neutral. The carbon is plant-grown carbon that eventually goes back into the plants. Well, we want to have a closer look at that, because I think that's, in the 100-year term, it takes the 100-year term it takes to grow a tree in Northern Ontario, it probably is carbon neutral. But when they burn that tree, it doesn't get emitted in the 100-year term, it gets emitted right now. It gets emitted in the short term, and it takes 100 years to take it back out of the atmosphere. So in that sense, the carbon is introduced in the short term in a pulse into the atmosphere, and it's here now. And it does add to the atmospheric load of carbon dioxide. I'm concerned about that because we are at a, a stressful time. We hope to reduce our atmospheric carbon dioxide by a great deal by 100 years from now, or long before. But right now, additional carbon dioxide, all additional carbon dioxide, is, is taxing on the atmosphere and may cause radical climate change. So, what I'm asking in the report is that I'm asking Ontario Power Generation to look, look very thoroughly at this whole issue of carbon neutrality and look at the implications of burning large amounts of wood biomass in the near term with respect to greenhouse gases. I don't think it's short-term carbon neutral, and I think it's something we should look at before we leap too, too quickly into this area.